Hello and welcome back to Arcanum of Steamworks and Magic Obscura. When we last left off, well, uh, we went through a really um, interesting little quest there. But now, we're in the Vendegroth Wastes. And we've been tasked to uh, check out this ruins. Tiny little Waramons. <laughs> yeah, Waramon. Luckily, Waramon is not um, particularly upset about taking out these things. Old Spark looks ancient. The imprint mostly rubbed off. Only five letters you can read is Groth. That sounds familiar. I wonder if we uh, saved that from earlier. Um, we could have gone through this without having to do that, but, eh. Hello again. I have the part you wanted. That's great! Give it to me and I'll mark it on your map. Here it is. Okay, mark the mo location of the city on your map. Join with me and we'll travel to the other city together. Nah, I'm okay. Ask you some other questions. Um, what kind of monsters do you see in the desert? Seen all kinds of strange critters. Seen giant spiders with the upper body of a woman? That was the strangest thing, though. What could be stranger than that? Well, I saw the darndest thing. Deep in the desert, I saw a rock stand up and move around. That's where it looked at me, too. Did you speak to it? Don't be absurd. Took off my hat, bowed graciously, and left it to its own devices. A few more questions? Uh, anything of interest? Oh, well, actually, I found a very interesting device. Some old ruins, blah, blah, sounds bad. We already dealt with that. I must go. Good day. Okay. Hmm. Can I increase repair more? Honestly, I think it would be better if we just focused on our dexterity and uh, increase our dodge to uh, as much as we can. We could increase our melee as well, which would not be the worst idea we ever had. Oh. Yeah, that's now worthless. Aha! Uh -huh. Mysterious city of mages deep in the Vendegroth Waste. The final city of the game. Huh. Plagueish Maiden. Well, they're creepy. Is it you need? Reading Sapler. What is this place? Ah, uh, it's you. Jorian told us to be expecting you. You may enter. Thank you, but who is Jorian? What is this place? Jorian is the diviner. He is inside, waiting for you, and this place. 
This place is Tuya, city of the mages. Okay. Oh. Oh my. You there. Ah, truly noble creature stands before me. Bid you welcome, Outlander. Oh, this is a very nice place. I think I'm going to pause here and bring up the map. Okay. Got a map. And I think I just hung around too long that um, the uh, <laughs> time decided to uh, go through. Let's first check out here. Welcome, we're honored to have the pure heart or pure of heart visit us in Tula. Well, I mean, I was going to say no, but I mean, according to my alignment, that's accurate. How do you do? Hello, sir. May I ask your name? I'm Harold Monk, apprentice mage in the Col College of Phantasm. How would you like to do, or how do you do, ma'am? Very well, thank you. May I ask you a few questions, Her or Herzod? Surely. What do you need to know? What can you tell me of Tula? Tula? Well, it's a wonderful place, full of strange things and interesting people. If only I didn't have to do all this bloody schoolwork. How's a fellow supposed to enjoy himself if his nose is always in books? Do you have much schooling left? No, not really. A few bothersome papers, some illusionary presentations, nothing all that difficult. Uh, of course, there is the final examination. What does that entail? There's a maze underneath Tula. It's built by an illusionist some centuries ago. An old elf by the name of Falkeen. In order to pass the final exam, I need to retrieve a platinum chalice from the middle of Falkeen's maze and bring it back to the master illusionist. It's not that I th th don't think I can do it. It's just there's much else I'd rather be doing. Hmm. Perhaps I might be able to assist you? Now, there's a possibility. Yeah, I think that just might work out nicely. That way I can run out later with the boys. There's a fireball tourney later this afternoon that I'd love to play in. Fine. I've got an old scroll of Phantasmal Fiend around here somewhere. Shall we call that your payment? Um, done, I guess. Very good. Scroll is yours, once you return with the chalice. The entrance of the maze is just out in the courtyard. It's an archway to the stone. You'll need this coin in order to pass through it and into the maze. I'll be here when you're done. I must go. Good day to you. So we've been given a Falkeen's coin. And I think this is the arch. Yep. Fancy chest, gauntlets, dagger, ring, boots, amulet, helmet. Okay, so. Need to do this in order. So, first you hit with no equipment. Then you don on the ring and you hit it. Step back and wear the amulet and touch it. the helmet you know one of these days I should probably get a better set of boots the 
gauntlets. And finally, the dagger. And then... everything Falkeen, 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 Falkeen There's the chalice And finally, nothing. Hey, guess what? Nice to meet you again. Rain is right. Have a moment. Surely, I have achieved the chalice. Yeah, that's grand. Here's the skull I promised you. Listen, just uh, keep this between you and I, eh? I don't think the headmaster would approve my methods. All right, I must go. Thank you for the experience points. Also, um... I would have wished you would have um, kept that with you. It's your imaginary set of the gods. Also gonna drop that there so I don't accidentally go back into that place. Okay. Some reason I think that flame is causing slowdown, or whatever in that room is. Okay. I guess next we should just head on to the main building. Looks like a great big teleportation place. Or not. Old wizard figure doesn't react to your approach. You cannot have been certain he's even seen you. Uh, excuse me. Ah, it is the wanderer. You are here to speak with Simone Tor. I am? Before you may see him, you must do something for me first. Please, sir, I'm looking for extremely important information. That may be. But Nasterin sent me. I don't have much time. That's not how I see it. And how do you know what I'm doing? Perhaps... Uh, then please, let me in. I beg of you. That's not how this works. Okay, tell me what I need to do. Go and gaze upon the mural in the main hall. It is near the glowing circle on the floor. I'm certain you may have passed it on your way here, and then you may see Simone Tor. Okay, 
I'll go look at it. Crazy old wizards. A mural of enlightenment. bunch of interesting symbols on here. I think these are symbols of magic colleges. Huh. Don't tell me I'm going to have to use that in a relatively short uh, future. Hint, probably will. You have seen the mural. You may now enter to speak with Simone Tor. But why did you have me look at the mural? Because that's what you needed to do. I can see this will need, lead nowhere. Good day. Hmm. You have Caledon, Blackroot, Ring of Broadgar, Stillwater. Ashbury and Tarrant. Interesting. You've come seeking information? Nazrin has sent me to find the location of the Vendegroth ruins. You are a practitioner of technology. How does that matter? And do you claim you have seen Nazrudin? I am meant to believe that not only is he still alive, he would use a technologist as his emissary? Well, let me tell you. And he told you to find Vendigroth? Your story rings true, despite its implausibility. I do not have the information you seek, regardless. Who can help me, then? Pelosian. Pelosian is the only one who can answer that question for you. And where can I speak with this... Pelosia. Wait a minute. Are you not surprised I've spoken with Nazarudin? Nazarudin speaks to us all at one time or another. Yeah, you don't understand. He is alive on the island of Thanatos. That is interesting. Interesting? Isn't that a bit of an understatement? It is intriguing, I will grant you that, but I can only assume that he has his reasons for staying hidden all these years. Who would I be to question the great Nazarudin's motives? If he can keep himself alive... For two thousand years, I am but a gnat compared to him. If you are willing, though, I would be appreciative were you to share your tale with me. Okay, here it is again. Your story rings true. How? How is the question, not where? Pelosium is dead, has been for a thousand years. Okay, then... How do I speak with him? No one knows. Since his death, he has appeared above Pelosian's pool every night at midnight. He floats there for an hour and then fades away. No one has ever been able to coax him to speak. You must find a way to bring his voice forth. Oh, right? But who was this Pelosian? Pelosian. Sorry, Pelosian. Clairvoyant artist, poet, founder of Tula, and above all, master of summoning. Hearing tales of him in my youth is what led me to summoning, actually. And what can you tell me of his art? He was an artist of great talent. His paintings are said to help those who meditate on them become closer to achieving oneness. His best work, in my opinion, is the aptly named Mural of Enlightenment. Jorian sent me to see that mural before you'd let me in here. Really? That's interesting. What's the mural meant to represent? No one knows, really. The largest symbol is said to re represent a lost college of magic, but no one can say for sure. Well, why can't you tell me of his poetry? His poetry was a bit overwhelming for most, much less lyrical than his paintings. The poems seem to reveal his inner self in a way few could understand. 
We don't know his poetry firsthand. Sadly enough, his works have been lost to us. All we have are others' writings about it. So the answer to making him speak could be in his poetry. Perhaps. Perhaps. I need some sort of clue to go on. Where do I start looking? That is not the way this works. The path is yours to tread no one else's. All right. You mentioned he was a clairvoyant. Yes, that is why I believe that. Even had he not seen the ruins that you seek with his own eyes, he will be able to give you the answers that you seek. It is believed that his writings and his paintings foretold future events. In fact, much of what he has prophesied has come to pass. And what things has he foretold? He saw many things, things that most refused to believe. Wow, that's impressive. I can't understand their disbelief. <laughs> I appreciate your humor, but all I can tell you is that things are the way they need to be. You said he was the founder of Tula? Colosian was born to great wealth, but his spirit was that of a wandering mystic. It would not allow him to live a life of leisure. When in his travels he found only arrogance, greed, and the thirst for power among the sorcerers of his day, it troubled his soul greatly. He wandered out into the wasteland, and it was here that he found what he was looking for. And what was he looking for? Clarity. A singular consciousness. A place he could start a new philosophy of magic. He gathered young, promising disciples around him and created this marvelous place. A beacon to all those that would pursue the ways of magic with a pure heart. That's fascinating. Well, what am I to do now? Only you can determine that. Just a few more questions. What questions do you have for me? What are these windows? Are they pictures? These? No. They are portals to other places. An indulgence. But I find it soothing to gaze through them. Portals? They could be used to get to those places. Of course. Can I use them? I am afraid not. Someone of your technological aptitude would disrupt the flow of magics involved. It would be deadly at best. Well, I suppose we'll be going now. Yeah, this is definitely not a place for someone of... Um, my general ilk <laughs> but that'll be for next time when we come back the maid city of tuya have a good one folks